you, you'd see it in baseball too. Uh, a, a guy would get traded in, and on Sports Center, they'd show him already with the other team's hat and everything. They just kind of, I guess there there might be a little AI in there. Yeah, he's a, it's a it's a. I guess he'll probably wear the red coat at games. He always wears a coat during games. Um, this one's got the uh, white Razorback on the left breast, so he looks. He looks like there is uh, something to be annoyed about on this photo here. He's got his uh, eyebrow furrowed, uh, a little bit of a scowl. Well, he, he might be staring down an official that made a call that he disagrees like, with. He might have something still left in the tank, huh? <laughs> I think so, <laughs> at least on that photo. Yeah, he might He might have, a, have another Final Four in mind. Uh, it is official. Uh, the announcement came out from the university earlier this morning, not just about the event at 6 o'clock at Bud Walton Arena, but that John Calipari is officially the Arkansas Razorback uh, men's basketball coach. And uh, the details coming out about the contract. Um, a, the other, Another Matt Jones, who of course, uh, writes at the Democrat and Hogs Illustrated, uh, has the article about this. This base salary of $7 million, a five-year contract, runs through the 2028-29 season. It's a $1 million signing bonus and a retention bonus of half a million dollars each year. Uh, the pay can increase up to one and a quarter million dollars per year for postseason achievements, 50 grand for making the tournament, up to a half a million for winning the national championship. There are rollovers for the first two appearances in the NCAA tournament, and something that the Kentucky contract did not have, Matt, no compete with other SEC schools. You wouldn't be able to leave Arkansas for another SEC school as we see it going in the other direction now. So I know some people were interested in the details of the contract. There you have it. And it's official now. Anybody that was nervous that um, that, that the, the Hogs were getting played or, or that Cal was using the Razorbacks as uh, fodder to get a pay raise, none of that happening. It is official and it's going to be an interesting event. Uh, for sure. <coughs> uh, it's open to the public. You know, media get the seats on the floor, uh, but they've got to get an RSVP. Anybody can walk in. I think the gates open about 5 o'clock, and you can just walk right in and and call the Hogs with Coach Calipari, which will look a little bit – that'll look a little bit weird the first time you see it, and then we'll just get used to it. I'm I'm interested. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's how, how excited can you be? I mean, it's it's a hundred percent excitement. Do you do you think it's a good deal? And and I'm I'm interested in the players that come along because we we brought this up yesterday. It's it's he's going to be introductory press conference and and w where's your team? You know, so let's let's see who he, who 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 he brings with him. Well, I mean, that has to be one of the one of the main topics of conversation in the press conference that will follow the introduction. When's the When's the last time Coach Cal's had where he hasn't had a top ten recruiting class? You know, I, I, Kentucky might have a little bit to do. I mean, it helps when you're recruiting to Kentucky, but don't you think that? I mean, top ten, top five recruiting class for the next five. I mean, you're going to get some athletes in. You're going to get great athletes in here, and I mean, it starts starts with the first recruiting class, which has to be cobbled together immediately. I mean, really immediately. First two years are the most important. That's that's for sure. Well, I know there's a lot of decommitments from the from the class that that he had signed to Kentucky, um, and 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 I think some of the young players that were there previously with him uh, might be looking to follow him too. But uh, I mean that you know I mean that's got to be that's gotta, there's a lot of questions to ask uh, Cal at this press conference. You know how how did this come together? How quickly did it come together? Were you looking for a way out of Kentucky potentially? You know. Uh, do you view building a roster any differently at Arkansas than you did at Kentucky? Uh, and how do you get this thing going right now? Got to hit the ground running, right? I mean, you get the, you got all the introductions. You get the pomp and the circumstance. You get the band and the cheerleaders calling the hogs, say all the right things, win the press conference, and then hit the ground running and go get a team together starting yeah. tomorrow or starting right now, you know, starting today at 7 o'clock once the whole thing's done. Yeah, you get to – when did Coach Musk go to Maui? Was that two years ago? So every four years you go to Maui. Um, you're going to go to Europe. You have another European trip. I mean, there's a lot of excitement going on over the next couple of years. It's uh, it's incredibly exciting. And you can feel the buzz. You, I mean, you really can feel the buzz. You could even feel it at the baseball game last night with a 5-1 to one victory. Uh, Dave Van Horn even referred to it in the post-game press conference about – uh, why they moved the game up to 1 o'clock, which I think is dual reasons. They might have even thought about doing that even if there wasn't any rain because 
every single media member that might be covering, I mean, every last one of them that might be covering the game needs to be over at Bud Walton Arena to find their seats and get things set. I mean, this is the biggest thing to happen in Arkansas athletics since when? Darren since McFadden won the Heisman. Oh, that was stolen from him. Yeah. yeah. No. Right. I mean, the, the national championship in 94. When's the, what's the last, what's the last biggest? Yeah. I mean, we won a couple of sec, uh, in, in baseball and in t- a tournament in basketball. What's the biggest thing since the national championship, I think. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 I don't think there's any doubt. I don't think there's any doubt. The only things that can, that can rival is, is, is winning a national title, making it to a final four, that kind of thing. But you know, this is, uh, <clears throat> this is different than just signing a coach with a good track record. This is signing the biggest, one of the biggest personalities in the sport, one of the biggest personalities in all of college sports, and everything that goes along with it too, uh, which which is partially the things that you're even bringing up, which has nothing to do with, uh, <coughs> with, um, well, I mean, it does have to do with the personality. His ability to recruit, his ability to coach, has a lot to do with his personality, the brashness and how how it seems he connects with people. Um, you know, you. It's uh, why is this the biggest story? It's because you get it's because you have a coach that has this amazing track record that's already in the Naismith Hall of Fame, one of two coaches to ever take three schools to a final four, already won a national championship. But there's <coughs> look, there's there, there's just a personality. There's an extra spotlight that goes along with Cal. I mean, it followed him from UMass to the Nets. It followed him from the Nets to Memphis. And, and from Memphis to Kentucky. I mean, even before he won the national title at Kentucky, he, his, his personality and, and what he'd already done up until then, um, you know, did speak for itself. That's why Kentucky hired him to begin with. And then it was – then it just exploded for those first five years. And now, you know, we get, to, we get the front row seat, literally the front row seat, to see if this, I would assume, last act as a, as a, as a head basketball coach in, in college – um, is is going to uh, look like things did at Memphis, where he turned that program into a national power over the course of eight years. Or maybe, you know, now that you're already in the SEC and he knows what it takes to win in this league, that potentially the Hogs can become one of the one of the dominant programs once again. I mean, there's, there's all these expectations that go along with it, Matt, and you can't help it. You know, let your uh, imagination run a little bit with it too. One one of the things that let me down a little bit, or was a bummer, was was the home court advantage that we did not have last year under Coach Muss. I think Coach Cal brings that back. I think he understands. You know, Kentucky's home court advantage is up there, uh, but Arkansas, Bud Walton, that's the best home court advantage in the SEC. Take care of your home games. It's a very simple process. You know, you you win your home games. You got the the fans behind you. The atmosphere. Uh, we should win those games at a 90% clip, and then then you're in the tournament every year. I just th- – I mean, automatically, you already you already didn't have a problem selling tickets. But now, you know, after losing Muss and, and the disappointment of this last year and you can see all the empty seats in February, um, you're not going to have any problem selling out now. I mean, again, this goes along with, I think, something we brought up yesterday, just the amount of hype that's going to go into this next season. I mean, it's already started. It's already started. And I'm probably guilty of feeding that a little bit because of this coach with this track record coming here to be uh, to be the head Razorback coach. Hey, I get this. So this Wednesday is much different than usual uh, because we've got baseball pregame at 1230. It was supposed to be a three o'clock game, but because of uh, weather, and it's suppo- I guess it's supposed to start raining somewhere around 130. So they pushed first pitch to one o'clock. That shortens halftime, basically makes halftime half of halftime. And uh, so 12.30 is when the the uh, dugout show starts. And, and from what I've told, I mean, they haven't just moved it back to 1 o'clock uh, to, uh, to bang it before the thing starts. I think they'd like to play as many innings as possible. If they find a way to fit in five innings before the heavy stuff really starts falling, uh, yes, Carl Spackler, then I think uh, they'll, be, they'll be perfectly happy with that. So... We've had to uh, jam things up a little bit as far as the show goes today. Uh, Clay Henry was on the way to Fayetteville. I think he's he's pretty close. He'll be joining Matt at about 11.30. That's when I've got to go talk with Dave Van Horn well, an hour before the broadcast starts. So Grant Hall is coming up in just a moment. Grant is in Augusta. And I don't know, um, be, being, at the, being at the Calipari thing today would be a lot of fun, but I could imagine being in Augusta 
uh, the day before the Masters starts, and Grant's been going there for, gosh, I think he's been going there for over 40 years. Um, pretty exciting to be able to talk with him, too. And I think, Matt, that's the kind of thing that's like, you know, you can hear it in my voice when I'm talking baseball and we're leading up to the baseball season. I have a feeling you'll be able to hear it in Grant's voice, too, if he's, <laughs> if he's at uh, Augusta National the day before the Masters starts. But they always have some uh, amazing uh, pairings. I, I wonder, uh, you know, who he's going to get to see. They say the practice round is just as fun as going to an actual round. Uh, kind of get a little more interaction. And uh, I think those pimentos cheeses are, are still a dollar seventy five, two fifty. They got the the old school old school pricing. Do you do the pimento cheese? I've eaten some. I've, I mean, I've even eaten them at a gas station a few times. If I, I was eat myself a pimento cheese sandwich. If I was at Augusta, what would they say? When in Rome, you you just go ahead and take it in. Just paying quarters. I mean, they'll take quarters. It's I, that's why I wear cargo anyway. shorts, you know, in my loose change. <laughs> Not sure if we'll have much time for calls and texts, but if we get it, uh, we'll let you know. Uh, the McClarty Daniel hotline is 877-377-6963. Thanks to Crabtree RV Center in Alma, the dealership that serves the River Valley and Northwest Arkansas and been doing it for over 70 years. Helping your family find the right RV for your adventures, the service and parts department on site, and everything you need in between at the junction of I-40 and I-49 right beside the Cracker Barrel. Crabtree RV, online at crabtreerv.com. Making a call to Grant Hall somewhere there in uh, on Augusta National. That'll be right after this on Halftime. See, what every long shot come from behind underdog will tell you is this. The other guy may in fact be the favorite. The odds may be stacked against you, fair enough. But what the odds don't know is this isn't a math test. This is a completely different kind of test. One where passion has a funny way of trumping logic. Listen to every Razorback football game this season right here on ESPN 95.3 and hitthatline.com. ESPN 95.3 is live on location. Richardson live at Harry Robinson Buick GMC, exit 11 off of I-540 in Fort Smith. It is the largest Fort Smith used car sale in the history of this city, the inventory liquidation event. Where Scott, where Harry, where all the guys went over to Harry Robinson, South Salt Ford, and brought the vehicles here to Harry Robinson Buick GMC. There's over 600 that you can choose from right now. Cars, trucks, SUVs. And if you want to come test drive one of the vehicles, you're going to get a chance to enter one of two four-wheelers during the event. It's going to be given away at 11 a.m. this Saturday. There's not really much stipulation other than you just got to test drive a vehicle. Come register and come check out the awesome lot right now. State sales tax paid on every single pre-owned vehicle. Come on by Harry Robinson Buick GMC, Exit 11, I-540 in Fort Smith. Are you tired of the overcrowded fitness centers? Would you like a fitness option where you can actually work out? Then let's hang out. The Hangout is Fort Smith's newest fitness facility. It has an 8,000 square foot gym, indoor tennis, pickleball, and basketball with more sports coming soon. The Hangout offers group and individual training in the gym and boasts three active tennis pros to help you grow your game. Stop in today at 5400 Gary Street or thehangoutfs.com for more information. Be a part of something different. Fitness, sports, and more. Let's hang out. Hey, I'm Hagen Smith. As an Arkansas pitcher, I know the importance of precision, skill, and keeping cool under pressure. That's why for your home, choosing the right team for heating and air is just as important. You want professionals who bring their best game. When it comes to staying comfortable, I rely on Pascal Air, Plumbing, and Electric. They'll send pros to take care of your home, too. Sign up now for Pascal's Plan Protection Membership before the summer heat for only $8.99 a month. Never pay for a tune-up again when they're included in your membership. Professional people, professional service. Pascal Air, Plumbing, and Electric. And we're back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever. That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must try for any sports fan. So make sure you... Wait, Jim, I didn't mean try it right now. We're still in the air. Mmm, best Coke ever? Take a taste, Jen. Really? No, not right now, Jen. We got a game to call. This is Bruce Stanton, Vice President and General Manager of Pradco Fishing in Fort Smith. Our number one volume lure out of our 20 fishing brands is the Bobby Garland Baby Shad. We make them by the millions in our facility in Fort Smith, and the Baby Shad is without a doubt the number one soft plastic crappie lure in the U.S. Fish it on a light jig head or underneath a float, 
and you'll find it's as productive as live bait. Available at Walmart, Bass Pro Shops, Academy, LureNet.com, and tackle stores all over the place, the Bobby Garland Baby Shad. Remodeling your bathroom? Don't let your imagination be limited by out-of-the-box shower doors or tub enclosures. Arkansas Glass and Mirror is your local source for all things glass, including plexiglass, mirrors, and shower doors since 1964. Arkansas Glass and Mirror has more selections, better prices, and the experience to help you build the shower of your dreams. They also have the only showroom in the area to help you create those dreams. Professional installation and professional service. Only at Arkansas Glass and Mirror, 1316 South Zero, Fort Smith, or online at ArkansasGlassAndMirror.com. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN Fine halftime on 99.5 in Northwest Arkansas, 95.3 in Fort Smith in the River Valley, 96.3 in Hot Springs in Central Arkansas, 104.3 in Harrison and Mountain Home, and everywhere on HitThatLine.com. Join the conversation. Call or text ESPN Arkansas on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 877-377-6963. Now back to the hosts. Here's Phil Elson and Matt Jones. I want to thank Limbered Real Estate Group and Maverick Male Medical for uh, sponsoring our uh, basketball conversations these days. Maverick Male Medical, your wellness and aesthetic center for men in northwest Arkansas. Look better, live better, love better. Visit maverickmalemedical.com. On the McClarty Daniel Hotline right now is Grant Hall. Uh, we always appreciate your time, Grant. But, man, if uh, – they picked the wrong week for the Masters, huh? Uh, this would be a great day to be in Fayetteville, uh, but you're uh, you're kind of in heaven anyway. How you doing today? I'm doing fine, and uh, it's interesting. You know, I'm, I'm doing a story on Taylor Moore for tomorrow, who's a former Razorback playing in this for the second straight year. And coincidentally, uh, he mentioned yesterday that he stays in the UA loop by talking to John Tyson, you know, <laughs> from his years of playing at the Blessings when he was on the UA team. So. He, he was excited about what's going on with basketball. Yeah, quite a quite a deal that uh, Mr. Tyson and Hunter Yurchek and the search committee has uh, <coughs> has put together here. And wonder, uh, I mean, the surprise uh, the surprise of having John Calipari as the head coach here. But part of the question is, you you know, what is the team going to look like moving forward? You know, it, 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 this story does not end today. It really kind of just starts today. Uh, the next the next few weeks are going to be just uh, very, very interesting. Well, you know, they could maybe start with this uh, Jaden Queen, who's six foot nine with a 7'3 wingspan, Matt. Does that sound familiar? I like well, it. Well, you're not quite that tall, but uh, youngest McDonald's All-America. And uh, I think his dad said recently they're going to ride with Cal. Well, I'm sure Kentucky will make an effort to keep him and the others, but you know, you wonder how many of those ones might come with Calipari to Arkansas. Uh, you know, I've heard a lot of stats, uh, something like over 40 uh, McDonald's All-Americans. Uh, Phil, Phil told me this stat that was just crazy. 30% of the All-Star players uh, were former Coach Cal players, and, and I just thought that was wild. How about 35 first-round draft choices? Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. For, Mind boggling stuff. 855 wins. Of course, 42, I think, were taken away, but uh, that's still a lot. There are a lot of fans that, that buy into this higher, but also wonder if, if, if the last five years have been indicative of what will happen at Arkansas. Um, and, and look, it, I, I view this very much the same way as I do a conversation about Dave Van Horn and whether or not he's a championship coach. Um, I, I, you, you got your track record, but it's even like uh, like a Joe Torre wasn't a World Series winning manager and was an idiot until he won it, you know. And now he's in the Hall of Fame for being a manager. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I see a coach who knows how to put a lot of talent together, 
Uh, I see a coach who's been able to win in numerous ways since he's been a head coach. He wasn't always just one and done. He put programs together at UMass and at Memphis. Um, I, I, I see somebody that can win here, that can win here quickly and win here big. You know, even Joe Klein, who uh, played with him a little bit for the Nets back in the day, and he, he did not have a good record there, but uh, Klein spoke glowingly of, of him as a coach. I, I find it uh, startling in a way that in 1985, you know, Eddie Sutton crawled to Kentucky, as he famously said, and wished he hadn't said it. And here, uh, all these years later, a Kentucky coach is coming to Arkansas. And I think the parallel maybe is that you know, head coaches and athletic directors have to see eye to eye. And in a cup, in some cases here, maybe they didn't. So uh, maybe at 65, uh, Calipari can get rejuvenated and, and have five, six, seven more good years. I'm going to say one more thing and then, and then head down to talk with Dave. Um, and I'll let you guys get into the golf and everything if you want to. Um, the, Grant, does this change? Now I should I should start this question with a with a statement. When the job came open, Matt and I talked about how this is the best open job in college basketball. John Calipari obviously viewed it the same way. Uh, there are people across the country that might pay a little bit of attention to college basketball and think, you know, Arkansas's heyday was a long time ago. What is this? This this makes no sense. It makes perfect sense to me. The more I think about this, does this change perception? of Arkansas Razorback Athletics to those who just have a tertiary understanding of college sports or even to those who live inside college sports? Oh, I think it already has. You know, I mean, I mean I've, I've been watching <laughs> while I'm doing the golf stuff, all the crawls of the national shows, ESPN, and, and two, three times a day you see uh, discussions about this. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to – the visibility, I think, is going to get higher – just because who of, of who Arkansas hired. What, what do you think realis, realistic expectations are? Well, I think you have to see what the roster is. Yeah, you know, first. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I think you'll be able to assemble, you know, a talent and, and maybe good before people think. Yeah, we were, I was thinking that, you know, he usually gets a top five, top ten recruiting class. I think we'll have, have some talent as well. Hey, uh, Grant, I want to ask you a little bit about some masters. I was looking at some of the pairings and and kind of the I guess the first question I had I had was, is it going to be a repeat champion? If I said, hey, you can have all the re all the champs in there, or you can have somebody that hasn't won it before, who would you take? You know, it'd be hard to pick against Scotty Scheffler right now, Matt. I think, uh, even though you know Doug Ferguson, who does such a great job with the AP, had a story today about how there's been no real dominant player in golf since Tiger Woods. Well, uh, Scheffler will do until somebody else comes along. I mean, uh, you know, you got Nelly Corda winning four in a row at the LPGA Tour now, and Scheffler's having this run. I don't know if he if he putts quite well enough, you know, to think he can just go out there and do it again. I personally am pulling for Roy McIlroy because, uh, you know, I think it's his 10th chance for the Grand Slam to complete it. And, uh, you know, his press conference yesterday was about six or seven minutes. And I think maybe they mercifully uh, kind of cut it short just so he wouldn't have to continue to deal with this question. When are you going to win this thing? So, uh, but I mean, more than that, I'm really pulling for Taylor Moore to do well because he's a great kid and, and he's, this is his second year in a row to be here. He's a great iron player and not as long as a lot of the guys, but a really good putter. And uh, he, he goes out early tomorrow. We got a 90% chance of thunderstorms here. And I'm not sure how much play they're going to get tomorrow, but uh, he's in the second group off in the morning. Now they put him with Jose Maria Olazabal and uh, an amateur. So if, if you got two guys shooting 78, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but he might rather be with two contemporary pros, you know. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I, I'll 100% be pulling from him. I, I saw last week uh, at the Bolero, uh, Akshay, he, he won it and, and got in by, by winning last week. And then I saw Sergio lose in a playoff uh, on the Live Tour. If, if I said, which one of those guys do you think ha, ha, has the better, has the better master showing? Maybe Octa, you know, the, he he's comes in here hot. Now, he did hurt that shoulder a little bit. Yeah, I saw uh, that. That reminded me of that, that kicker from Tampa Bay, Gramatica, after he hit the field goal and, and tore his ACL celebrating. 
Yeah, that was great. Now, he, it had been kind of a chronic thing. He, he had had it before. And speaking of chronic issues, I didn't know until I got here, but Jordan Spieth uh, has that kind of a wrist thing flare up on him off and on, and it, it's kind of bothering him a little bit. But uh, I'm watching, you know, they're having the par three tournament right now. And by the way, Matt, you know, no, no par three winners ever won the mm-hmm. main tournament. I saw Adam Scott birdie the first two holes, and so did Zalatoris. So, uh, uh, one year, Ben Crenshaw was about to win this thing, and his dad told him to hit the last ball in the water so he wouldn't fall victim to the to the jinx. That's funny. In the main tournament. Hey, um, uh, a, a fan favorite, somebody I always like like seeing is is Freddie Couples. Uh, do you, anything you think he can make the cut? How, how's his health going right now? Not great, uh, Matt. You know, he's, he's sixty four, but he still hits it out there a long way. But right now, he's had. Uh, a, a different back issue from the one he's had for about 30 years. And he's had it, uh, I think, looked at. He's going to get an MRI next week again. But uh, so he, I, I, I don't know that uh, he'll be able to make the cut this year. Although, you know, the, the guys he played with the other day, Tiger Woods and Justin Thomas, both think he can make the cut. So we'll, we'll see uh, how his health is tomorrow. Yeah, to Tiger Woods. What do you think? You think he's just he's just going there to get another start, or do you think he what 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 is his cut record? Isn't he trying to set a cut record there at the Masters this year? Yeah, it, it, there's a three way tie with 23, so he's trying to break that through most consecutive cuts. And he, you know, he said yesterday he still he wouldn't be if he didn't think he could win this. Now, just walking 72 holes is the issue. Uh, I saw him his first hole he played the other day went down number 10 and. He was walking kind of gingerly, but then he made it around and played nine the next day. The, the issue he might have, Matt, is if they only play a partial round tomorrow, mm-hmm. he has a 124 tee time. He's going to have to play 20-something holes on Friday, and mm-hmm. that would be really difficult. That's what got him last year. He had to go out there in that cold weather on Saturday morning and made the cut, but really couldn't uh, couldn't play after that. All right, before before we let you go, I want to what is your favorite hole out there? I know there's some some beautiful holes, and the only time I've ever played the Masters is, is on the Tiger Woods video uh, golf game. Uh, but what's your favorite hole, and what's something that you definitely eat? Will you eat a pimento cheese while you're out there? <laughs> I already had an egg salad today. Nice. That's my, Jim Nance, that's his favorite too. But, uh, yeah, man, I think the fifth hole, because it's kind of remote, not as many people go out there. Uh, but I'll tell you quickly that, uh, you know, the 12th hole, VJ Singh said this week he'd like to see him lengthen it by 10 yards to 160. So Chairman Ridley was asked about that in his annual presser today, and he said, that's not going to happen when I'm here. You know, <laughs> I mean, that's like uh, that hole is long enough. Don't change it. I like it. I like it. Well, Grant, man, thanks for joining us today, man. Have fun out there. Okay. Okay. Have fun tonight too. See yes, ya. yes, sir. That's Grant Hall all the way from Augusta, uh, spending a little time with us, man. I that's that's pretty cool, Christian, getting to go out there and 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 check out a practice round. Never done it, but I would like to do it. I heard it's hard to get out there, hard to get a ticket. Well, we do have an uh, a, an adjusted version of halftime today, and uh, Phil F- Phil is uh, getting ready for the the one o'clock first pitch. They changed the the first pitch, uh, San Jose State today, and uh, hopefully we'll get some clay fisherman clay Henry. Uh, we got an hour left here on halftime. If you want to get in with us, please do eight seven seven three seven seven six nine six three, and uh, we'll be back right after this. This is halftime. You can now download our new app in the iTunes or Google Play Store. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play Stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McClarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McClarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McClarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. 
Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the fence man was my first call. The fence man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the fence man does it. The fence man, he ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. The Dandy White Perch. Big old slab. C'est bon, Sakali. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouth. <laughs> Some serious crappy. Nice spec. We got crappies. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. Bobby Garland, America's favorite. White Perch, slab, Sakale, paper mouth, crappy, spec, crappie baits. I call it dinner. Bet Online is the number one source for all your sports betting this season and every season. You'll find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends all at Bet Online. Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. The fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite leagues and events. Go to betonline.ag to join and receive your 50% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure you use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. Bet online where the game starts. Are you looking for the best Razorbacks insight and analysis? Hell yes. How about listening to an Arkansas football legend? Matt Jones. All he does is make big plays. What's the voice of the Hogs have to say? Hey, what a great crowd last night. Don't forget about the Omahogs. The Hogs are going to Omaha. Matt Jones, Chuck Barrett, and Phil Elson. The best in the business on the Hit That Line podcast network. Go to hitthatline.com or search Hit That Line wherever you listen to podcasts. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share. Madonna has gone from like a virgin to like a surgeon. You can try to nip and tuck from the curse of sin, but eventually death is going to win. God will do major surgery on this sin-filled world, and when he does, people will try and hide their faces from him. Even plastic Christians won't be exempt. Look up Isaiah chapter 2 and see how the spiritual world renders this an immaterial world. I'm Pastor Abe from Woodland. Read about it. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel Hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McClarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McClarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McClarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the fence man was my first call. The fence man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the fence man does it. The fence man, he ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. The Dandy White Perch. Big old slab. C'est bon, Sakali. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouth. <laughs> Some serious crappie. Nice spec. We got crappies. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. Bobby Garland, America's favorite. White Perch, slab, Sakali, paper mouth, crappie, spec, crappie baits. I call it dinner. Bet Online is the number one source for all your sports betting this season and every season. You'll find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends. All- um, 
Fisherman Clay Henry, the Hall of Famer, joined us a little early today on this uh, abbreviated, adjusted uh, version of halftime. Uh, C music on the controls, uh, as always. Clay, what's up, man? Man, we're like Marines. We adapt and conquer. That's right. Adjust and adapt and keep it moving. Keep it moving. Well, I mean, it's been uh, pretty slow in the sports world, I guess, um, so, to say the least. I. I don't know what I I guess this is the first time I've talked we, we we've talked. My first initial clay when when I heard the news was I I halfway thought it was a joke. You know, like, oh yeah, okay, maybe we'll go hire Don Staley too. You know, like let's just go get a good coach out there. Yeah, Nick Saban's coming back yeah, to coach football. Right. What what were your initial uh, your initial reaction? And then after it kind of set in and you've kind of had time to uh digest it. Well, immediately I, I knew that things were coming to a head at Kentucky. And I've got some friends there that Kentucky diehards and is like, man, we, we've had it with this guy. We're ready for him to move on. And it didn't, you know, and I was like, yeah, that's, that's true. But where's he going to move on to? Oh, I mean, I just didn't think that there was enough money in place to make it attractive at Arkansas, but now there is. And that is a perfect marriage. You know, and I, I kind of liken this to, you know, somebody that uh, donates to a church and, you know they know their 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 money's going to 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 mission fields and they they like all that and then they find out that the you know the pastors built this huge parsonage and suddenly they don't like how their money's being spent anymore and you know that's kind of the way it goes in athletics the way it is in NIL if people are happy the way you're spending their money they they're going to they're going to pour it out and i don't guess they were happy with the way Eric Musselman was spending his money and he didn't you know, he, w he didn't get much out of Nick Smith. And, you know, it's like they didn't see that. Uh, but, man, people are willing to pay for the right stuff in the, the right the way their money is invested. And I, you know, it's there is money in Arkansas. There, there's not there is no, never a doubt in my mind that, you know, that they're the right people could could be involved with NIL and it could get special. Oh, no, no, no question. Yeah. I mean, since, since it, it, there was a stat 09, 010, uh, coach Cal, he's 410 and 123 that, that ranks fourth in division one, 35 first round picks since 09. Yeah. And there'll be some of those come to Arkansas. He's going to get players. Well, his teams are so athletic. That, that, that was what was exciting to me. Clay was, he always has athletes. Yeah. So I asked somebody, we were, we we're watching the, in my home, we were watching the Arkansas Kentucky game. I can't remember if it was the first or the second one. Might have been the second one because that was the high scoring game, right? 111 to 106. Mm -hmm. or something at, like at, that. At, at Lexington. Yeah. And I was like, so how many of these guys on this Arkansas team would would make make Cal's 13 man roster? And this, you know, my buddy who really keeps up with athletics and is a big basketball fan, he goes, zero, zero. You know, the mm -hmm. 13 for Kentucky are that much better than the 13 of Arkansas. I mean, it's 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 sometimes painfully obvious the difference in talent. Now, you know, you 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 want you want maybe a little better in postseason, but I think that that some of that is you're so young, and I think young players sometimes have a hard time understanding defense. You know, it's like I'm gonna outscore you, man. Now, Marvin Delf told me one time, he says, man, I played defense. And I said, what do you mean? He said, there was never a game where my man scored more than me. That's defense. I said, no, I don't think that's the way Coach Sutton saw it. But that's the way young players and offensive-minded players. So uh, I, I wonder if you got to have a little balance more with, with some older guys, you know, to, to help make sure your, your culture is also defense. And that, that's the only thing that I've ever seen with, with Calipari. Calipari's team that they needed to be a little more defensive oriented. Yeah, no, you're you're right with the 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 older guys, the veteran guys. I, I love listening to Stan Van Gundy call a game. I I could listen to him calling. So he he does. He comes back and calls some of the the tournament games, and uh, and, and there was a game he was talking about, and he was like. The, the college game is just 10 times more physical than the NBA game. And, and these kids, they're watching the NBA, and then you get in the college game, and they let you bang. That you got to be tw – it, 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 it helps you to be 22. Especially the tournament. Yeah, the instead tournament. of being a, an 18-year-old All-American is going to be a stud. I, I get that. But right now going against a 23-year-old that's been through five college offseason, it's, it's just a tough, tough battle. 
I have seen zero NCAA tournament games in the last three, four, five years that were free throw shooting contests. That just doesn't happen. Right. It just does not happen. Um, and it, it's so you better you better come with your big boy pants on. You're you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna get checked. I wonder to to what you were saying earlier about I I, I think that your your friend he, he's he's probably on to something I I think Tremon Mark I think he's a he's he a dude his team. do you yeah. think I'm, I'm asking that to say do you think Coach Cal reaches out to any of these these guys that have eligibility that were raised well I, I think that it it has to be a two way street mm-hmm. I mean, he you know it have to be somebody coming to his office like Coach you, you interested in me yeah if you're you know but I, I don't think. I don't think he's in going to be into begging. Yeah, so, no, right. But I, I'm thinking of a veteran guard that's, could that's, that's could played be. a lot of minutes. It that, could be. That, 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 and, and I'm I'm just a Tremont Mark fan. I think he was our best two way player. Um, he he would be a guy that you and yeah. If if he doesn't want to be here, then he 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 doesn't want to be here. Yeah. Who do you, who do you think? Uh, and and I asked Chuck this, and and I know you guys. It's it's y'all don't. It's it's not something you guys pay attention to as much, but. It, it, it kind of met who do you think the next Kentucky coach would be like do you think that's it because you th- you think Nate Oates is gonna gonna be the guy no huh, yeah. no I mean he's he's not going there he's got it rolling and he's he's uh he's got probably his best recruiting I, the reason why I speak on this is because my brother's an Alabama fan and he he's got I mean he's he's into it I mean I'll spend this weekend we're going to Kansas City going to go watch Messi play nice. this weekend if he plays we'll, we'll be there going to see uh we'll see Suarez for sure he's playing um but it I was asking him last night about the Alabama situation and it already kind of trickled out that Oates you know wasn't in, interested and he says he's got exactly what he wants coming at Alabama and w- without all the drama that they have at Kentucky and he weathered the drama last year and is still there. Um, and let's be honest, you know, in Alabama, you know, with all of us talking about the Brandon Miller, this and that, uh, Oates, I mean, he, he didn't take any criticism within his own ranks. The people, you know, the Alabama fans, they, they didn't they didn't get all upset. There wasn't any drop off in attendance, you know, over him playing Brandon Miller. So he, he hasn't faced the drama uh, that he will face Kentucky basketball. There's drama. Mm-hmm. It, it is intense. In Alabama, the drama is football. It isn't basketball. They they don't they don't get after the basketball coach for for a loss or a couple of losses, like they do at Kentucky. And I will tell you that Kentucky will take years off of your life. The drama that you have there, uh, and you know there's there's a little bit of drama at Arkansas, but not like Kentucky. And I think. You know, Eddie Sutton, when I talked to him after he got the, the Oklahoma State job, you know, and kind of been in exile a little bit, went to the Betty Ford clinic, cleaned up, and he's like, man, that Kentucky, it's it's a different animal. It's different than, than I thought, and it's ten times what, anything that I've ever faced. Um, the, the scrutiny, the pressure, and, um, you know, there's basketball fans that know the game, and then there's basketball fans that don't know the game, and he says, I heard from both. Clay, there's that that yeah Alabama that that UConn. I think the most outstanding player, the most valuable player. You brought him up last year, and when he was a sub that was coming in from UConn, but that's Donovan Klingon, their their center. He was the most. He's the reason they were able to do what they were able to do. I know they have guards, but his defense and what he was able to do, the way he moves and understands the game, he was their most valuable player this the year. The way he moves, right? I mean, you talk about his length, great feet, great feet, and he made him some money in the, in in that Final Four. I mean, he was. Oh, well, he made it. He made it tough. He made it tough on Edie. Yeah. yeah. And and there were, you know, they got the ball to Edie where they wanted him to have the ball, and oftentimes he couldn't do anything with it. And that had never been the case. When he got the ball three feet from the basket all year long, that was two points or a foul. And there were a lot of you know shooting misses, and there were turnovers, and you know he he got called for walking a few times because he couldn't figure out where where the defense was. So that that was, and then the other part about that game, Matt, is they said we're we're gonna let Edie get his points because we're gonna we're gonna play him one one person. 
we're not gonna let the rest of these guys beat us. One of seven from three point. They, it was a master class on how to guard. Never the turned them loose, did it, they? It was it was awesome. Hey hey, listeners, we we want to thank you guys for for texting in and calling in. And if y'all want to get in with us, we get we have a couple segments left as everything got adjusted today with first pitch being at one o'clock. Uh, so we're gonna pay some bills, and we'll be back right after this. This is halftime. ESPN 95.3 is live on location. Hey, Ty Richardson, check it back in. Harry Robinson, Buick GMC, here with Rodney at the inventory liquidation event where Rodney, one of our mutual friends, Billy, took advantage yesterday. Got him himself a brand new GMC Sierra. Brand new 2024 GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate. Just this month, come out with a $2,000 rebate. So he got $2,000 off that 2024 top-of-the-line truck, everything that GM puts on it, self-driving, a whole nine yards. Look out there, Ty. We've got a whole section, four rows of brand-new units, Buick, GMC, three-quarter tons, one tons, Acadias. Um, you know, we've got everything in stock right now. Do not miss this sale. Yeah, over 600 vehicles here on the lot at Harry Robinson Buick GMC. It is the inventory liquidation event. Come by and see Rodney and his team right now. Exit 11 off of I-540 in Fort Smith. Insurance company throwing you a curveball? Are they crowding the plate and not offering you a fair settlement? If you've been injured in a car wreck, you need an experienced attorney to fight for you. I'm Jackie Mock with Mock Legal Solutions. Licensed in Arkansas and Oklahoma. No win, no fee. Call Mock Legal Solutions today for your free consultation. 479-769-1505. Real advice, reasonable price. After I drop the kids off, I have to run across town for a meeting, hit the gym during lunch. Jake has soccer tonight, and Emily has gymnastics. Oh, did I turn on the crock pot this morning? <laughs> with a never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget something important, like setting up a life insurance plan with Shelter Insurance. Your local shelter agent can show you how to create a safety net for your family. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. Call your local shelter agent, Chris Dooley, at 479-646-6792. Looking for a change? For a limited time, we're offering up to a $15,000 hiring bonus and a $3,000 referral bonus for maintenance tax, including electricians and refrigeration tax. Ask a friend who works at Simmons for more information, and you can both win. Simmons offers vacation matching, a 401k plan, and premium health care for team members and their families through our care clinics at no additional cost. Learn more at workatsimmons.com or stop by the Fort Smith City Hiring Center at 4900 Rogers Avenue, Suite 103 in Fort Smith. Find out more about the $15,000 hiring bonus and start getting paid sooner with same-day hiring options. We look forward to seeing you. Walk-ons is always a win. Whether it's a post-game celebration, drinks with the crew, or an easy weeknight dinner, Walk-ons has you covered. Scratch-made dishes, wall-to-wall -wall TVs, craft beers and cocktails. Dig into mouth-watering menu items like po'boys, gumbo, and voodoo shrimp, plus fan favorites like juicy burgers and fresh salads. Find your nearest location in Rogers, Fayetteville, Fort Smith, Conway, and coming soon to Little Rock. Or order online or in the app. Walk-on Sports Bistro for the win. Do you need gutters, but think they're too expensive or that you need to get the soffit or fascia ready? No worries. Call the gutter guy. He does it all. No need to call multiple companies to get the right gutters for your home. Call the gutter guy. Quality, low maintenance, leaf-free gutters with a five-year warranty. The gutter guy also does vinyl siding and windows. The gutter guy. Over 30 years experience. Call 226-1259. Call the gutter guy. Barrels and Brews Bottle Shop at the Hub and Chaffee Crossing has everything you need for your favorite activities. Our knowledgeable staff will be glad to help you with the current specials and our new arrivals of must-have bourbons and whiskeys. Hit the cooler for some of the coldest beer in town or choose from our large selection of amazing wines. Order online or call ahead Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. at the Hub in Chaffee Crossing. Barrels and Brews voted best of the best in Fort Smith. It will put a smile on your face. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I just don't know. Will I fall in love and never have to worry that I'm falling all alone? 
baby, it's true. I was just born to be blue. Welcome back into Halftime Live from the Crabtree RV Studios. Crabtree RV Center in Alma, where we it's make your true. dreams come true. Yeah, back halftime with the Juds coming in strong right there. Um, hey Clay, uh, did you did you see the solar eclipse that that went on? Did you did you make way for that? I went out for maybe maybe two three minutes mm -hmm. uh, early on, and then two or three minutes in kind of the middle of it, and uh, I saw the darkness, and it kind of kind of scared me a little bit. I had a flashback. When I was always outside playing as a young boy and it got dark, my mother called me in. And I kept thinking I was about to be called in and told to take a bath. And then I, I came then I kinda came to and realized that I was sixty nine years old and nobody was gonna call me yeah, in. Yeah, you to gotta take a bath. gotta come check in when the street lights on. I yeah. uh, I thought <laughs> That's of what uh, was going on though. I thought of the movie three hundred when uh he's like, Well, uh our arrows will blot out the sun and he's like, Well then we'll fight in the shade. So I had to look up and make sure there wasn't any arrows coming out. Yeah. Yep, I think that's true, and it, and but it's it's a you know once in a lifetime deal, I guess. I mean, to have in Norfolk, we had four minutes, fourteen seconds of totality, and it wasn't enough for the birds to stop chirping and uh, you know things to kind of get. Hey, a it little felt bit a little scared. cooler, you know. The temperature no question, went down a little it was bit. cooler. Yeah, I had I was working at the fly shop, and a lady came in and says it got cold, and I said, "Ma'am, it's not cold." It dropped four or five degrees. It didn't get cold. So maybe she got chills from the experience, but it wasn't cold. It did cool off, though. I, right. I'm just glad it kept on moving, you know, so then, then, it would, we, then we'd ha really have some problems. Yeah, it was it was an interesting experience. i tell you what was really weird is there sure was a lot of foreigners around. And I They mean, said there I, was a million imports that oh, came, yeah. came through. Oh, uh, yeah. The uh, the people that were stopping, you know, the fly shop's right on Highway 5. So it's a north-south highway through the heart of the state. And through the heart of the of the totality, you know, the biggest minutes of the totality were right along Highway 5. And, you know, the people were stopping in to use the bathroom at the fly shop and buy water, buy Cokes. And, I, you know, I'd, okay, where are you from? Minnesota. Where are you from? Iowa. Where are you from? South Dakota. I mean, it was impressive for how far people drove for four minutes of something. <laughs> a long way, some of these people did. A lot of Missouri people. I, I mean, saw the. I saw they, were, they wanted to be shown. I guess the Show Me State. Yeah, I saw. Um, I saw what there was a thing in Russ Vegas in Russellville. There were over a hundred people uh, that got married uh, while the the eclipse was going on. I think you said it was four four minutes, but they had yeah. some type of ceremony. Uh, which I thought that was kind of odd, but hey, at least you found somebody who likes the same thing. I hope they stayed married for the whole four minutes. <laughs> That's a joke. See music. Did you see the? Did you see the eclipse on Monday? I guess we really hadn't talked about it. I did, man. It was it was pretty neat. Uh, one of those things where I just had enough time to pop my head out and see it, but it was it was cool. Did it change your life? I wouldn't say that. No, no, I don't think it did uh, either. Yeah, I've heard some people that like this was the coolest thing I've ever done. Man, you need to get out a little more. It, yeah, it, it's rare, but it's not the coolest thing like I've ever yeah. experienced. It's just it's it's just kind of bizarre just to kind of think about it. Uh, somebody sent me a picture of uh, Billy Sims and his fro over the the sun. He says, <laughs> "Sorry about that." <laughs> I like it. I like it. Well, we got a we got one phone caller, two phone callers uh, coming up in the next segment. Uh, we we got the top of the hour. We got two more segments coming up. Uh, myself, Fisherman Clay Henry, C Music on the board, and uh, we'll be back right after this. ESPN 95.3 is live on location. Hi, 
Richardson live at Harry Robinson Buick GMC, exit 11 off of I-540 in Fort Smith. It is the largest Fort Smith used car sale in the history of this city, the inventory liquidation event, where Scott, where Harry, where all the guys went over to Harry Robinson South South Ford and brought the vehicles here to Harry Robinson Buick GMC. There's over 600 that you can choose from right now. Cars, trucks, SUVs. And if you want to come test drive one of the vehicles, you're going to get a chance to enter one of two four-wheelers during the event. It's going to be given away at 11 a.m. this Saturday. There's not really much stipulation other than you just got to test drive a vehicle. Come register and come check out the awesome lot right now. State sales tax paid on every single pre-owned vehicle. Come on by Harry Robinson Buick GMC, exit 11, I-540 in Fort Smith. With everyday low prices on top brands, locally owned Jaeger's Ace Hardware is committed to offering real service with real savings. Get these red hot buys at any of our four locations. Save $90 on the DeWalt 20 volt max trimmer and blower kit. Only $199 with your Ace Rewards card. Riazicide 10 pound granules, ready to spray or concentrate is $799 with Ace Rewards. And buy batteries and chargers and get the tool free on select DeWalt, Milwaukee, and Craftsman Power Tools. Find us online at Jaeger'sHardware.com. Let me grab my car keys and we'll roll. Are we still going to that new bar downtown? Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Lexi, give me driving directions from home to downtown bar district. Auto correct. Suggest Uber. Pick up home. Drop off downtown bar district. No, I'm driving. Suggest the metro bus. Departing in 12 minutes. Huh. Point taken, Lexi. We'll grab a ride. If you drink, don't drive. Decide to ride. Brought to you in partnership by Anheuser Bush, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Uber. Looking for a new piece of heavy equipment? Come on over to Sharp Equipment today and explore our latest offers and deals as a Wacker Newson dealer and a Cinnabogan authorized service provider. From excavators with the best in class breakout force to powerful skid steers, we'll be sure to find the right equipment for you. Stop in Central Hydraulics and see us at Sharp Equipment located at 6104 Highway 271 South in Fort Smith or give us a call at 479-242-1406. We are here at the Bud Walton Arena, where it is about as loud as a building can get. The loudest arena to start a game I've ever been in. This is a hard place. You don't come here expecting to win. Let me tell you that. The name, the brand, the identity that he brings to a program that has a storied, rich tradition, an outstanding fan base in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Listen to every Razorback basketball game right here on ESPN 95.3 and hit that line.com. KERX Paris Fort Smith. This is halftime coming at you from the Crabtree RV studios on ESPN 95.3. Coming to you live from the Crabtree RV Center Studios. Broadcasting on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. You're not a good one tonight. You got a team in here that's a perspective. Live from the Bush Light Studio. Don't ask me if I'm all right. Well, he said Saturday, and we're not doing it. We're going to go get one and celebrate on somebody else's show. said you had very motivational words at halftime. It's halftime with Bill Olson and Matt Jones. From the bottom of my toes to the top of my head. I have zero respect for saying no ma at halftime. That's the name of one baseball back. It's vintage Matt Jones. Here we go. Right now, let's take the field out. Call or text on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 877-377-6963. Now, here's Phil Olson and Matt Jones. Woo pig suey. That's, uh, you can hear it from here. Uh, they, they said it's buzzing on campus. Everybody's, uh, you know, it's uh, it's on to the next. It's pretty cool to be a, be a Razorback fan. Got, got the legend, uh, John Calipari coming in to to be your head basketball coach got a uh, got two more segments here on halftime today phil elson getting ready for first pitch uh probably getting some sound from dbh right now as they take san jose state on at one o'clock Ga game time has been changed it was six o'clock it's now one uh c unit on the board uh hall of famer hall of famer fisherman clay henry joining us as well 
Uh, we got a couple phone calls. Let's uh, let's go to the phone calls. If you guys want to get in with us, please do. 877-377-6963. C-Unit, who are we going to first? Cecil. Cecil, what's up, man? Hey, guys. Good morning. Um, well, we got a great coach. Uh, I was listening to uh, Greening um, this morning, and uh, it was, they played a uh, – uh, it played a little 15 second skit on um, uh, that uh, one of the announcers was saying, I forget his name, but they were like degrading Arkansas as a great basketball school or a great school, period. And like Calipari's going to Arkansas. And I was just like, wow, hmm. I'm, I'm thinking if Calipari. If the job would have been open for him to go to USC, would he would have took would he would have taken the job? I doubt it very seriously. I think Arkansas is a better job than USC for as far as the landscape of basketball. I now I think football USC now you know it's changing conferences, but the the glory, the lore, everything that goes with USC football is pretty pretty tough. But basketball wise, uh, I, I would have Arkansas ranked ahead of USC. If you go down a checklist and put USC over here, you know, talking about their arena and the side, you know, how many people come to their games, 3,500, what their NIL is, what their coaching salary is, what their fan base is, what they're passionate for basketball. I mean, it's L.A., man. I mean, they, they, they don't care about Southern Cal basketball. I mean, there's 10 million people there, and if you ask them to rate what's important to them, those 10 million people are going to give you – 30 things before they get to USC basketball. They may never even get to USC basketball. There's a handful of people. They got about 1,000 students, and they got about 2,500 fans. That's it. That's all they got. I was talking to a guy that played for USC, really close to John Wooden, and, and you know, he – you know, first of all, he, he wasn't pleased that his school got Eric Mussman, which that tells you something. He lives in northwest Arkansas. But it's – you know, the – there's not that many people that watch. The ratings prove that. USC's on TV. There's no, people aren't watching. So the programs are not similar. They are dissimilar in every way. You know, what drew Eric Musselman there is its home. Mm-hmm. I mean, and I get that, and there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, but I guarantee you, this is, uh, you know, this is, a, you know, this is someplace that basketball is important. The fans are passionate. I mean, so all you have to know is when they ejected Eric, I mean, uh, John Calipari from the game, was it two years ago in Bud Walton? His players had to cover their ears as he was leaving the floor. Do you think that would happen for anybody being ejected at Southern Cal? They, they're just going to sit there and watch. They, I mean, it's just, it's just not the same. It's, it's apples and oranges. So uh, Eric Musselman's happy. Arkansas fans are happy. It was a win-win. I, I I like this. This is the stat that I'm going to throw out that I think is is totally attainable. Coach Calipari will have an 85% winning percentage at home games in Bud Walton Arena. I, I really believe that. Your non-conference games, the athletes he's going to have, we have that atmosphere. That I mean, it's 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 un, it's second to none uh, as far as a home court advantage. And 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 just as a player, you want to protect your home court. Let's go. Um, you want to go to Charlie? Charlie, what's up, dude? What's up, man? Dang, man, you introducing me like that? Like, we're going to go to Charlie now? Oh, I don't want to talk to him. Nobody wants to talk to you in the day. It's, uh, oh, it's a just and adapt today. <laughs> the great Clay, Clay Henry's on here, so maybe I can talk to him. What's up, Clay? How's it going? I'm doing good. I'm doing I came over to, to Northwest Arkansas. I want to go to the uh, – to the, I think it's going to be a celebration tonight at six. I mean, I think it's uh, it is a I agree. it is an unusual happening that is kind of like the solar eclipse. You're just not going to see it again. Nope, you may not 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 it not even in my the rest of my lifetime. And I'm 31. I mean, I I, I can't remember you know a hire like this just from a popularity. I think it was. Uh, Tommy on the morning rush to come and said this is like hiring the eldest of college basketball or something. I mean, just the the popularity, the brand, and all that the Calipari has. And, you know, one thing that I do think that he is um, very underappreciated for. And Jimmy Dykes had brought this up. You know, 
him and his wife, I can't think of her name right now, but uh, I, I'll get it. I'll get used to it. But uh, him and his wife are very, you know, involved in the community, very similar to how Eric and, you know, Danielle were. And I think that's a great thing. You know, they're going to win over, you know, this state and this com- and the community, I think, very quickly. I, I don't think that'll be an issue whatsoever just because, you know, not only him. And another thing I noticed about him too, Clay, like he, he can talk, man. I mean, when you listen to him, you know, he's very knowledgeable. And he just seems like a guy that players obviously, uh, you know, listen to, want to play for. He's a little old school. He'll get in your face. I mean, he's very intense, too. He kind of reminds me of Mus when it comes to that. You guys said, didn't he get thrown out a couple of years ago? I mean, he don't care. He'll get up in your face. He'll get up in the ref's face. And, you know, I like that about him. So, I'm excited for that. And, you know, my only concern, though, Clay, let me ask you this, because, I heard that they're bringing in what six. He's about six of his guys from his staff are coming over with him. Is that correct? I mean, I think Did that's I probably that that's probably accurate, but I don't know it to be true. Okay. Well, I, I hope we keep Ronnie. Hopefully, I, I'm not. You know, I don't. I haven't heard anything on that. You know, from that standpoint, and I hope one things I have worried about him, and I've thought about this. I I, I said actually on the show, Matt. You probably remember. I felt like if Eric Musselman took that team of, of Kentucky players that Cal had this year and they went and played Oakland, that Kentucky won a one. Now, it wasn't a knock on Calipari. It was just I thought Eric Musselman's ability to prepare for games when he has time to do that is something he's really good at. I, I just hope that Cal, you know, I'm not saying he's, he's a great coach. That's not what I meant. It's just everybody has their their strengths and weaknesses, and uh, hopefully he adapts. And uh, But I, I just I, I help him. I hope that he has great success here, and I believe that he can and that he will. Y'all have a good one. Thank you for the phone call, Charlie. I'll do I'll do better on my on on, on the introduction um, next time. Yeah, you you know that was a that was a fluky deal. Uh, Oakland had a guy get hot, uh, and it was like Kentucky. Had, uh, the, Kentucky didn't play defense this year. That was that was one of the their their main flaws that they have and in the tournament they'll figure you out you know a good coach figures out what what can you not do well uh what do you do well we try to stop stop one thing and then we try to exploit the other the issue with young players is it's hard to get them to play defense and i think you've seen with eric musselman he prefers to play older players and you know if your roster is is completely you know younger players then you're you're going to battle them every step of the way to play defense. And you can say Eric Musselman would have game planned and figured it out, but he would have he would have struggled with young players too because he did. Um, and you know they're they're prone to foul, they're prone to uh, to make mistakes, and that frustrates him. And he doesn't he doesn't go very long, you know, being frustrated for you're on the bitch. So. You know, whether he could have taken, you know, that that the youth of that lineup, and they did have a couple of older players. This Kentucky team did, but it's, uh, you know, I, I I do think that you learn, and and you know maybe, you know maybe John will, you know, will have a mix of older players that you can, you know, build through the portal. He may have to this year. He may not can completely fill his roster with five star freshmen like he's done so well, you, often here at Kentucky. Yeah, and you, and you look at uh Clay, I, I look at just the SEC from from last year uh with with Dalton Connect and um oh who who was the kid Grant Nelson at Alabama and Tennessee respect for, for those two kids came into the league and you didn't think Dalton Connect when, whenever Tennessee made the signing last year that oh that's the guy that's going to be the SEC player of the year. Yeah, I mean you you can look around and and see some older players that it made a difference, and you know Spears is an older player too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, That's yeah. the other thing, Clay. Is you, I, I I'd like to see a guy like Landon Blocker be able to develop. Like I don't know who Coach Cal calls I'm off last you. year's team, but man, you, you love to see play. He's going to be so much better next year. No no question about it. You put him with uh, some guys that can really play offense, and it'll 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 rub off a little bit. I mean, I think that that uh, he he was learning. Uh, and, and, but you loved his aggressiveness. You know, he wanted to attack. Sometimes he attacked into, you know, into the trees, you know, and didn't turn out well. Uh, they they just did not have the luxury of letting somebody, you know, learn a little bit. They were they were playing we were behind, behind it. Yep, so right. much. We were behind. There were so many games this year. The first five minutes, we would be down eight, nine, ten points. 
and you're just you know then you got to have some offense to catch up well it has been um an, an adjusted wednesday that's for sure of halftime we're going to have one more segment left if you want to get in with us please do 877-377-6963 and we'll be back right after these messages This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel Hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McClarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McClarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McClarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the fence man was my first call. The fence man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the fence man does it. The fence man. He ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. It's a dandy white perch. Big old slab. C'est bon, Sakali. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouth. <laughs> Some serious crappie. Nice spec. We got crappies. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. Bobby Garland, America's favorite. White perch, slab, Sakali, paper mouth, crappie, spec, crappie baits. I call it dinner. Bet Online is the number one source for all your sports betting this season and every season. You'll find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends all at Bet Online. Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. The fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite leagues and events. Go to betonline.ag to join and receive your 50% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure you use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. Bet online where the game starts. Are you looking for the best Razorbacks insight and analysis? Hell yeah. How about listening to an Arkansas football legend? Matt Jones. All he does is make big plays. What's the voice of the Hogs have to say? Hey, what a great crowd last night. Don't forget about the Omaha Hogs. The Hogs are going to Omaha. Matt Jones, Chuck Barrett, and Phil Elson, the best in the business on the Hit That Line podcast network. Go to hitthatline.com or search Hit That Line wherever you listen to podcasts. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share. Madonna has gone from like a virgin to like a surgeon. You can try to nip and tuck from the curse of sin, but eventually death is going to win. God will do major surgery on this sin-filled world, and when he does, people will try and hide their faces from him. Even plastic Christians won't be exempt. Look up Isaiah chapter 2 and see how the spiritual world renders this an immaterial world. I'm Pastor Abe from Woodland. Read about it. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Like it's going out of style. Then she'll leave you with a smile. You're gonna give her all your heart. Then she'll tear your world apart. You're gonna cry a little while. Then she'll leave you with a smile. 
Make sure to follow Halftime on Twitter at Hit That Line AR and on Facebook and Instagram at Hit That Line. Call or text ESPN Arkansas on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 877-377-6963. Now back to Halftime with Phil Elson and Matt Jones. Woo Pig Suey, back Halftime. Uh, myself, C Music. Uh, fisherman clay henry as well uh the buzz it's it's exciting the buzz is everywhere uh press conference going on at six o'clock tonight introductory uh phil elson getting ready for the uh to take you on a ride with the, the arkansas razorback baseball team hosting san jose state uh clay there's something else going on that i i absolutely will be tuned in with uh i love the masters uh, have, what what are your what are your initial thoughts on the Masters? It gets started tomorrow. It's one of my favorite places I've ever been, and you know what everybody says. You know, I think I've been four times, and always for a whole week. You know, from like like Tuesday through Sunday night, and nothing they can show you on TV does it justice. You don't get the feel. You don't get the you know the 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 you know the atmosphere. You know you can try to describe it. You it's it's you don't have it in, unless you're there. Um, the courtesy of the fans. It's not like any other you know golf place. Uh, the respect that's shown. Uh, uh, you know the roars. How you know you you can read them. You know what that is. That's an eagle roar. Or that's a tiger roar. Or that's a you know that that was a Nicholas roar. I mean I you. you you're there. You start to feel it. The wind, the way the pine trees move, the the swirls in Amen Corner. They talk about it, but unless you're there, you don't feel it. You don't see it. You know the the angst in their face as they're trying to pull a club. It's like, man, go ahead and pull one. It's it's a six. Now it's a seven. Now it's a five. And then the wind swirls, and it just. I mean, I don't mean just number twelve, but all across the course. And the beauty of it, the dramatic difference in elevation changes, the humps in the greens. I mean, 14, it looks like there's a buried elephant in the middle of the green. I mean, and that's the only way I can describe it. And then, you know, you say, well, yeah, right, Clay. And then you walk up there and you look and you're like, how would you put that one? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you is that its defense mechanism is, is one of the main things is the greens at, at Augusta. Yeah, the speed, uh, the you know the the slope of the greens. You know, sometimes in you know the in the the ability to put a pin in a setting where if you're ten feet to the left of it, then you're going to put it off the green. You just you know you yeah. just can't go there. And so you know the accuracy and the ability. Somebody was telling me about. Uh, I think it's my brother who's a caddy there for about seven or eight years that, you know, there's some, there's a lot of uh, left side pin settings and a guy that hooks the ball, like, like say uh, Roy McElroy, you know, he plays right to left. I mean, he didn't hook it so much as that he has a little gentle draw, but there's some of those pins he can't get to any, and you think, well, off the tee, the right to left helps you. But coming into the green with a short iron, for instance, on number one, they've got a left pin setting, and if you're if you are if you're even five feet right of it, and anything to the left of it, that ball is going to go off the green. So you have to play to the middle and just give yourself a 25 footer when you have that pin setting. And anybody that goes after that pin setting, you know that they're, they're going to be off the green and then chipping up a slope, and it might. Just come back to you every time. You can just chip it over and over. And, you know, the only way you get it to stay on the green is you go 15 feet past and then, you know, try to make a 15 foot par. But, but if you try to chip it close, it just, and unless you see that, you don't understand it because TV doesn't, doesn't do it justice. Because TV, all the shots are from high in the sky down. So you don't see the dramatic difference in elevation, even on the greens or, or anywhere else. Number two, is just straight down off the tee. I mean, you, you can hit a – I mean, almost all of us can hit a 300-yard drive there because if you get it airborne going down that hill, it's just going to go until you get to a flat spot. But then that's where the trouble starts. You know, it's like how you know how do you how do you get it to make it stay on that green? That green is just a sliver on the right side. I mean, it's just a little sliver of a piece of land. I'm looking. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Hey Clay, we got one one phone caller to to wrap this up today. You got it. Let's let's go to Eddie in Clarksville. What's up, Eddie? Man, I, 
I'm doing great. I couldn't be more happier for our basketball program. As tonight, as I woke early this morning, ever so clearly I could hear the whistle blowing on the basketball hog train as we got a new conductor to lead our rich program. And I believe we're a great fit for him, and he's a great fit for the University of Arkansas. I believe this. I, I mean, certainly, I've been blessed. And, you know, I grew up under Eddie Sutton, and then, you know, the torch was just headed over to rolling with Nolan, what Nolan Richards accomplished. Man, I got to see it all. And I'm fixing to see some more rich basketball in our program. I can't wait to John Calipari. Starts coming to the U of A, sets foot on campus, and I believe he's coming here for a mission, a purpose. You can't have a mission without a purpose, and that's to win and win big in the SEC, and that's exactly what we're going to do. And sometimes you got to dig deep to strike oil, and boy, did we dig deep and strike oil. So for the fan base, woo, fasten your seatbelt, and if I was Rick Flair, I want to give a big, oh, because... Winning's coming to the U of A, gentlemen. Thank you for taking my call. Woo pig suey. I think he likes it. You know, I, I universally, Clay, I think it's uh, 99% of, of people. I have not heard a lot of negative, uh, a, a whole lot of negative response to, to the hiring of Coach Cal. Not too much. I mean, there, there are a few people that think that the money's gotten out of hand and that but this is what college athletics is. I mean, you, what's the old saying? You either go big or go home. I, well, I, I think it, it's kind of like what Ole Miss There's is not, doing you in, can't be in, between. in football. Yeah, we, we, we said, hey, look, we got a chance to get a, a, an icon, a legendary, a Hall of Famer, one of the best to ever do it coaches. Uh, he's in, you know, he's in the price range, and, and you're going to go out and you're trying to you're trying to hang a banner over the next couple of years. So, Matt, the, the, what I really, really feel strongly about is that, we have somebody that has embraced Arkansas, mm -hmm. and the state should embrace him because there have been some big contracts offered. Everybody says Arkansas not willing to spend the money. Hunter Yurchick was willing to spend it on the last football hire, but they all, they, they all backed away. And the roster was so depleted, but football rosters and, and basketball rosters totally different. You can you can replace a basketball roster. Two uh, players. It's a little tougher right? yeah. in, in football to, to replace 85. Um, so I, I think that, you know, that this kind of puts to bed the myth that the school's not willing to try. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. How, how can you not be excited? Uh, you, you got the, you got Bobby P coming back to call, call the offensive plays. You think that third down and red zone is going to be better. Travis Williams, second year on uh, uh, defense, uh, coach Van Horn, we, 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 you know, got the number one ranked baseball team in the country. Uh, and then you go get Coach Cal. It's, yeah, it's a I good time to be a Razorback fan. Should should everybody should feel comfortable with who they've got as, as athletic director because he did a good job on this. I gave him a star. I know Phil gives Bubba star. Big old star. They give him star. Bubba Bubba gets stars when uh, yeah. they're they're doing the show. I said, man, you got to give one to Mister Tyson. Big, and Hunter yeah, just put a bunch of little stickers all over your notebook. That's right. That's right. Well, man, this was fun. Okay. Clay, thank Enjoyed you. It. it was short yeah, today. Hey, thank you. Thank you for having me, Matt. Yes, sir. And uh, C Music, awesome job again today on the board. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. I think it'll be a little bit, a uh, little bit more usual. Uh, thank you to all the listeners, all all the the phone callers. We could we couldn't do this without you guys. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.